Hello there, welcome back to the Ogre, the old Git React reviews and off times reminisces. Um, I noticed the other day that uh, somehow or other I've scraped over 100 subscribers now, which was a uh, um, surprise to me the way things have been going over the last um, um, 18 months, two years, whatever it is now. Um, so, any excuse for a celebration, which is why I've got my party shirt on. Uh, and when I do reach some sort of milestone, um, I tend to uh, go for one of the longer of my favourite tracks. Uh, not need to justify anything for, for playing longer songs, but uh, just for, for my own indulgence, maybe. Um, and so this one's been on waiting for a while for uh, such a milestone. Uh, Paysage Diver um, from their uh, debut demo, or their eponymous de de demo, anyway. Um, uh, I can't think of a finer way to celebrate than listen to. Uh, can't remember the name. Let me look. Welthaus Ice. Should know that because I've listened to it literally thousands of times. But anyway, um, it's a long track, so let's crack on. When I first heard this, I can't remember really if it was um, Paysage de Vere I heard first or Dark Space. Um, both had a similar effect uh, in filling me, filling me full of glee, but um, distinctly different, the two projects. Um, and I think Paysage de Vere, tip it for me uh, between the two. Um, but um, it's, it is extraordinary how a quite a raw, loud, if you play loud enough, um, and fast form of music can tip you into a trance uh, almost immediately because uh, this is what this track does to me. It sort of uh, just takes me out of body and um, I'm floating in a reverie more or less straight away as soon as this kicks in. Um, and clearly black metal what sort of black metal who cares but uh, to me I always think of it as thin ice black metal if you uh, it always seems like um, it's about to break apart at any minute um, eggshell black metal maybe who knows but uh, yes um, so if I do drift away whilst listening to this uh, poke me in the ribs because uh, otherwise preferably probably for you you won't hear anything from me but uh, I'll try and try and remember to say something as we go along <laughs> Yeah. 
So at this point I start to uh, drift even further and further away, but um, I'll interject now to just comment on the violin really. Um, as if things weren't brittle enough, you've then got that plaintive um, violin um, refrain sort of uh, weaving in there. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, it, um, and it all gives a sense of vulnerability to me. Um, it's a bit um, like the vocals, the wretchedness of the vocals, um, all sort of hints at a, um, a vulnerability of sorts. <laughs> um, not a weakness, maybe, but a vulnerability. And I suppose that comes back to the thin ice, uh, the, the, that point at which um, you're on the cusp of um, it all breaking apart, uh, maybe. Uh, another thing that springs to mind with this, which always delights, is the uh, the percussion. <laughs> um, always strikes me, if you ever um, have worked at a quarry, stone uh, quarry, or seen a documentary of some description of one, it reminds me of those grading belts where they, they rattle um, different sizes of gravels uh, out of the... Uh, the stone that's being quarried and it just sort of um reminds me of that noisy shuffling dropping of stone that those um machines um provide the ear with <laughs>
think the only disappointment with this track when I first heard it um, was uh, when it subsided into this uh, calmer um, section. And I went, no, keep on going. Um, so, um, but anyway, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yes, so I've ripped this from... Um, <laughs> From the CD because I was going to use the Bandcamp page, but I listened to it on Bandcamp too many times. It says "pay, pay now," uh, which I'd be delighted to do if I didn't already have it in its physical form. Uh, in fact, here it is. There you go. One of my prized possessions, uh, insofar as all my CDs have all gone into an attic now, and retrieval requires military planning to get them from under all the other stuff I've dumped on top of them the Pesage diva a5 um cds all are at hand uh, not that you, you listen to physical cds very often anymore but um some things are too precious to put away and uh, it's been one of it um another thing uh, i was pondering on just then was the the the, the melodies there as i say this rattles along at a pace um at a uniform pace in many ways that um, as I say gives you that trance like effect uh, and the melodies um, come in and out but they never completely disappear so sometimes the, um, the the melody rides the percussion and other times the percussion basically buries it but you can still discern it underneath it all um, and everything's fairly simple and straightforward at least to the ear uh, there's nothing contrived or complicated to uh, break you out of that reverie that you should have fell into by now. <laughs> again now. Thank you. 
go back to the vocals um it's one of my favorite um types of vocalization uh employed here it's sort of goblin-esque in in some ways orcish i suppose if, if you will uh in other ways it sort of pictures for me a sort of um trophied and hideously deformed human maybe um which is a bit um presumptuous i suppose but um but uh, it's, it's it's the sort of image it, uh, it it paints for me i mean i suppose um in some ways when you first see mortis in his guise it's the sort of vocals you expect he might uh, utter but nonetheless it, wretched and um in some ways you 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 do f if you're that sort of person have a sense of empathy for the for the uh, whatever tale is being told cried out from the the uh the mouth of um winter here but um yes uh i just want to say at this juncture no let's get on with it <laughs> was something actually but I'll wait till I stop it again.
Some of you might wonder, um, given the title, where the ice is, is in this. Well, I've already alluded to the thin ice aspect of this, this sort of music, uh, this song. Um, but the guitars there uh, hint now at um, iciness and coldness. And it's, it's something I've always sort of mused upon when listening to black metal or any sort of uh, songs that... Um, theme themselves on on the cold and the ice uh <laughs> sometimes it depends on the listener and uh, it's all subjective really uh, very often when i hear songs that are supposed to depict uh, an icy uh theme i, I could think, think the complete opposite i think the warmth but uh, maybe that's just the way i'm wired up but this one you do get the sense of um iciness to it uh and the thing i'm going to mention last time which uh, popped back into my head more or less straight away is a as the music started was uh for someone who who was blooded into uh, the more extreme types of music by the short sharp shocks of um punk rock um it tickles me nowadays that uh, i'm quite happy to listen to songs that are uh, virgin on 20 minutes long and not um lose interest which is a credit to the composer of course but um and it can't just be because I'm getting quite old now, because this has this has been out some considerable time. And back when I first bought it, uh, I was full of vim and vigour, and uh, the fact uh, I was prepared then to happily settle down to listen to songs of this length uh, would suggest um, that, um, that they are effective in maintaining an interest even when you are perhaps in a state of mind where um, you don't necessarily register it, maybe. Anyway, we are towards the end, about four minutes to go, just under, and so I'm going to let you all drift into a state of bliss until the very end. Nothing, nothing more from me.
So there you go. Um, a little testament to the, the joy of this song is the fact I'd forgotten how long the drift out was. Um, but it soon passed, didn't it? Yes, it did. Um, <laughs> so I suppose it's the sort of music that uh, if you were unfortunate enough to be caught in an avalanche and trapped under the snow or otherwise um, taken unawares by the cold, which I would wish on nobody, um, but um, if this was playing in your lug holes as you drifted into oblivion, um, I guess you would uh, accept it um, without fear, maybe. Um, but anyway, anyway, so that was my treat to myself for um, 100 subscribers. Uh, thank you all for those of you that um, haven't got me there. Uh, I don't really pay any attention to my subscriber account because it you know, never moves, uh, and that's not the point of why I do these. But um, um, nonetheless, it's nice to know that uh, some folks are listening. Uh, <laughs> um, right, yeah. So thank you, uh, thank you everybody, and thank you Peshaz Diva for making this milestone a pleasurable one. Uh, anyway, enough bollocks. Uh, clicky bollocks if you like. Catch you all next time. Cheerio.